Hi, I'm Calico Kate, and this is Use Your Stuff. Use your stash. Use the stuff you got. I have a whole lot of these <clears throat> vinyl leathery type um, samples from a sample pack. And I was looking at them and I thought, you know, Jasper had made this one for me and it was upholstery, but I had these and I thought, you know, those would make good credit card, gift card holders for Christmas. And so I thought, let's sew some up. So they're already cut. I didn't recut any, and I just started here, and I sewed around zigzag. I use variegated thread, just because I think it's pretty, and then it just folds over like that. Now, like Jasper did, she has these two pieces of fabric, and then she glued this on. Well, I have these. Some of these are broken earrings. Um, some of them came that way. Some of them are jewelry that I just took apart. So I thought, well, let's do that. I could make those, make them. I want to make them so they don't just have to be for Christmas. I want to make them so they can be used for graduation or anything. A birthday, a boy or a girl. I want them fairly um, gender proof, but I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do that. They may just be kind of girly. I'll try not to, but like that, isn't that cool and boho? So I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun, kind of go here in the middle, put that there, glue, hot glue that. And lay it down. Now these don't just have to be for gift cards. And the weight of this, see, is going to kind of hold that down. Um, but these don't just have to be for gift cards. They can be for anything. You know, you could put cash in there. You could put a small gift in there. You know, maybe you handmade something and you just need a little something in there. But I thought, what a good way to use these because so far, I hadn't come up with anything. They were just taking up drawer space. We couldn't have that. Now, you might have buttons you want to use. You might have maybe a bolt, a tool, something like that you'd like to use. You know, if you had a teenage boy, I'm going to take these to the Lord's Acre sale and put them there on the table with the other stuff I made and see what happens. Um, oh, that'll work. That's more masculine. And these little holes on them don't even bother me. You know, to me, they're just, well, for one thing, a teenager's gonna wanna know what's inside more than anything. But I just think like a gas card or something like that would be fun 
to put in this. Most of these are boho, so I'm having to think that way. I hope this is finding you doing well. You know, they wouldn't all have to have fabric. But I do like the little fabric that she had hanging down. And I've got more little yarns and strings and stuff up here. Let me pull these down. I've got paper clips and stuff in here. And that's what I accidentally threw more. Yeah, I'm good at that. Fabric. Well, here. No. Um, I do like red with turquoise. One thing I pick up is one of my paper clips or safety pins. So let's see. trying to decide what I want. This kind of looks like baseball lacing. Let's make that a little shorter. And you might have upholstery instead of this vinyl leather stuff. And I have some of that too. I just am using this. Does that look too girly? That's a choice somebody else can make. These would even make a little wedding gift. Um, this is a denim dark blue. I really like this. It's an old pair of earrings, but I do like it. Like I said, I'm trying not to make it them too girly so that they can go for whoever somebody wanted. I could even use my wax seals for this. I may do that on my next one. Just thought of that. They just need, I'm thinking, to be heavy enough that um, I have more wax. Um, they'll hold down the lid. Well, I gotta find more wax. I've only got a hundred thousand of them. I could use my fiber tack, but here they are. I've got long ones and short ones. The short ones came with the glue gun. I always buy the long ones. Okay, now let's do this. Glue leaked out. But I'm sure, I'd love to hear, you know, if any of you do this, what you use. Because I'm sure what you use would be neat to hear. And see that hot glue just peeled right off of there after it cooled off. So messing up is not a big deal. Always good to know, isn't it? Okay, let's try a wax seal. 
and let's see what it does. My wax seals are way. Pardon my reach. I've got some of these with a compass. I think a compass would be great for um, graduation. So let's put light blue. Now, the thing with wax and hot glue, you want to keep it around that edge where it's thicker. And then gently put it down so it doesn't melt the wax. And see, that's not quite heavy enough. So, let's try, but we tried it, now we know, don't we? That's pretty, be pretty for a wedding, wouldn't it? Like I said, this is just old jewelry that, um, Okay, now see, I didn't have it quite folded. So let's try another one and see if we can fold it and then maybe we can get it better. These navy ones remind me of denim. Here's one with the compass all blue. I like that. Let's try it again. Now, I like them with the ribbon already on there. I can put my hot glue on the ribbon and then just don't want to glue it down. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a trick on a gift recipient? Here's your gift, but don't expect to get to enjoy it much because I glued it down on you. Things here are very dreary. It's supposed to get to 20 over the weekend. This is a Friday afternoon. I'm filming this and oh my. I ain't gonna use this. I know you guys are sitting there thinking, oh, use this or use that. I'm just kind of not seeing it. And like I said, you could use, you know, novelty buttons if you had them for an interest that they had. You could use you know, if you made things out of wood that even be cool on there. I like that big one on there. <laughs> It'll probably be the one nobody wants. And like I said, she put two pieces of ribbon on it. We can do that too. Let's do that on this last one. You could put the ribbon, could go with their school colors. Like our school colors are blue and white. So you could do that. 
you could um, do these just so many ways. But like if they had a fall birthday or you had trick-or-treaters coming, you wanted to give them something, you could do something like that. I'm going to go with the blue and white because those are our school colors. And since I'm donating them locally, that might be something somebody might like. But I want to do two colors, so let's do that one and this blue. What do we want to put on there? And not, how about this happy face? So there we have these little pouches Get that out of the way a jar out of the way and you can use your stash now this one I don't know why it doesn't want to lay down oh, here's some more I say I thought I'd made more than that but you really need these pressed down what I you know probably would do if I made some more is maybe put something heavy on them folded so that they for sure but you could put just a little piece of scotch tape under there if you were so inclined but there you go, just little gift card envelopes from um, your stash, upholstery or leather, just whatever you have. This is the upholstery one that she made. And I love them. I think they would be a nice addition to a Christmas gift, you know, set that in the Christmas tree or a stocking. And put something in it. So for Calico Kate, you all have a wonderful day. And as always, remember, you have a purpose. Bye for now.